In this video, I'm going to show you one of the best and most consistent man-beating routes in all of Madden 23, and it comes to us out of the trips tied in formation in the New England Patriots playbook. What's good, YouTube? I want to welcome you here to today's video. We're going to be taking a look at the play Pats Y in in the New England Patriots offensive playbook. Now, for this video, you are going to want to have either Hot Route Master or you're going to want to have an outside apprentice that you can put at the number two uh, position in the trips tight end. This is going to give us an ability to create a really powerful man-beating concept on the left side of the formation. We're also going to be able to attack man coverage on the right side as well as have a nice check down in case we guess wrong and they happen to be in zone coverage. Now, if you're watching this video and you want to get my entire Trips Tied In offensive ebook, make sure that you join my Patreon. That'll be linked down in the description below. For just 10 bucks, you'll get access to all of my Madden 23 offensive and defensive ebooks. All right, guys, Pat's YN out of the New England Trips. Let's get into it, and let me show you a little bit about how I like to run this play. What we're going to do is we're going to take the tight end, and we're going to put him on a corner route. Now, if you do not have the tight end apprentice ability or hot route master ability, Feel free to just put him on a simple out route. Just something breaking uh, to the outside is what we're looking for. Then what we're going to do is we are going to slant our number one receiver in the trips, which is Debo Samuel. And then what I like to do is go ahead and block by running back. I want to have good protection for this. Oftentimes I'm going to this play if I think that they are potentially sending man-to-man -man pressure. So I want to have a six-man pass protection. Then we're going to motion Debo Samuel across the formation, and as soon as we motion him across, we are going to then be able to take Calvin Johnson and put him on a C route or corner route just like that. And what you're going to see is this corner route is going to create a really uh, some really good separation against man-to-man -man coverage, as you can see right there. Now this corner route is not the only read on the play. It's not the it's, it's probably the best read um, in my opinion, but it's not the only read on the play by any means. We're going to give ourselves a lot of tools uh, in this to be able to attack man to man. Another route that is going to be really effective against man coverage is this little out route to Steve Smith. This is the primary reason we're calling it. You see he lights up, especially if he has short and elite, and you're going to be able to pass lead that to the sideline and be able to attack man coverage in that way. So we have two easy man beaters on the left side of the screen. So now what they're going to do more than likely is they're going to drop some zones, right? Maybe they drop a hard flat. Maybe their user kind of goes over there at the snap. And this is going to then in turn open up our right side. This tight end apprentice corner route, probably one of the more consistent man beating routes in the game. We're going to freeform that down and outside. And as you can see, especially if that tight end has short in elite, we're going to be able to attack man to man coverage in that way as well. So now they have to drop, you know, zones pretty much all over the place. They got to have a deep half for the C route. They got to have a purple for the tight end route. They have to have all of these different, you know, adjustments. And then this is where we're going to kind of break their back over the middle of the field with this route to Debo Samuel. And what you're going to see here is we're just going to pass that down and inside. And uh, unfortunately, we weren't able to catch it, but I'll show it to you one more time. This slant route, what I would recommend to you guys um, is if you if you have short out elite, let's say you're a trip side end player, I really recommend short out elite um, on Debo Samuel, short in elite on Steve Smith. This guy, I've, I've really enjoyed route tech. I think route tech is the best ability or no ability. I don't think that short in elite is that good on this number two receiver because sometimes he'll be inside the numbers and sometimes he'll be outside the numbers. But Debo Samuel, you can kind of make sure that he's going to go outside the numbers. So you'll see here, if I wait to snap until he gets a little bit more outside, like right about here, you're going to see I got a better chance of him, light, of him lighting up and I got a better chance of him getting separation against man-to-man -man coverage. Now, that is all well and good. We can beat man coverage with this play. It's an incredible play for that. However, what happens when your opponent starts to go to some zone coverage? Glad you asked. So when they start to run some zone coverage, really what we're going to want to try to do here is attack them in the short areas of the field, such as the flats. Um, this speed route to say, uh, Steve Smith, because we're going to motion this in here, you're going to see that if we wait, we have the slant late in the play against a drop eight coverage and zone. So if they're going to drop zone, that motion slant is really effective um, at getting some separation later on in the play. Now, the other thing that I do want to quickly touch on is sometimes they will go to some type of cover three. Um, if they do something like that, I'm going to touch on cover three in a second. They're going to go to some type of cover two, actually. Um, but what you'll see is if they go to this cover two, this C route, what we're going to do is we're going to freeform that down and outside. And if they don't have a knockout ability on that player, that can be one of the better routes in the formation. 
Now, what I wanted to do uh, real quick as well is I wanted to talk about cover three. So let's say that they do go to, you know, some type of cover three. I'm actually going to come back out and, and come out in the main coverage to show you what happens uh, when they're man aligned. Because a lot of people uh, are going to be man aligned against you. So I want to show you what this looks like. So if they're coming out and let's say they're man, they're playing man coverage like this. And then their their plan is to drop a third on the left side to try to stop a C route, right? So what we're going to have with this is when you motion, all of a sudden that third is going to follow Debo Samuel. And so now they're going to have to readjust their defense because if they're not careful, we're going to be able to destroy them uh, to that sideline. So I'm going to give you an, uh, another uh, illustration of this of this defense real quick. So again, we're just going to set this up, put the C right out here. We're going to take this cornerback and we're going to put him into the third, right? So in case they're playing, you know, basically rolled cover three, something like this. This is very popular. What you'll see is because that third is now inside, sometimes he struggles to defend this C route. He actually defended it pretty well right there, but there is a potential for that to be something for you. Um, if they are, you know, playing, you know, a traditional cover three, then typically what's going to happen in a traditional cover three is nobody's going to follow anybody. So they're not going to, they're not going to follow these guys across in man coverage. That's kind of your cue that you want to look to your slant um, you want to try to hit the flats, and if that's not there, you want to take your slant as a simple check down in this play. This play is perfect for man coverage, one of the best man beaters in the game. And if you are patient against zone, you're going to find that this is going to funnel your your defenders into having to play zone against you, which trips tight end is one of the best zone beating formations every single year. Now, if you want to learn more about the trip side in and how to run the complete offense, make sure that you join my Patreon. I got over 70 videos breaking down trips tied in to a T and under and teaching everything that you can do from this incredible formation. Thanks for watching the video. Make sure to go down and check out the Patreon in the description.